Hi everyone, welcome to another video and in today's video we're going to be looking at exactly what I'll be packing uh, for my trip in two weeks to the Amazon jungle. Uh, I'm going to uh, Brazil, uh, Manaus airport is where I'll be landing and I'll be spending uh, one day at a hotel when I get there so I can reorganize my equipment. So today's video is looking at what I'm packing rather than how I've packed it. I will be talking about some carrying mentality, so how I'll be carrying it to Brazil uh, and why I've chosen the method I have. Uh, so you're going to see the mentality around that, uh, but you won't see anything packed in a particular order. And the reason for that is because it will be rearranged when I get to Brazil itself. OK, um, I'm going to be spending around nine nights into the jungle itself in about 10 days. Uh, so I'm going just shy of two weeks there, but it should take me about two weeks in total for my entire trip. So getting out there and coming back. Um, I'm going in two weeks time. So if there's anything I've missed out, please let me know in the comment uh, boxes there for me. That'd be great if you could do that, guys. Uh, to talk about on the way back, I will be staying at a hotel one night when I get there and the hotel again one night for before I return uh, to England. The reason why I'm doing that is when I can get jet lag away from me when I get there and sort out my kit and a, a night in a hotel before I fly back is so I can get showered and cleaned up, shaven again and things like that. Um, that way I don't smell on the plane because no one wants to sit next to a stinky, right? On that note, uh, I will be carrying my uh, larger pack. So I'm going to show you that now which this is going to be my Carry More Sabre 6100. Okay, as you can see here, guys, uh, it's going to have the side pouches, the PLCE side pouches, okay, which is what will be attached to that. I was contemplating using my Carry More Sabre 45, um, but I want the space, okay, and the reason for that is when I do get to Brazil, um, I will be picking up some supplies, things like food and beverages and snacks and so on. OK, um, the type of trip I'm doing, it, it, although I'll be practicing bushcraft and survival related skills, I'm going to still keep the items that I'm carrying with me. OK, so I'm going to be very sensible about this. It's all, all about practicing it rather than putting myself into a survival situation. That's not going to be the case at all. But we will be doing some open uh, fire cooking and we'll be doing some foraging. Um, and we would also be, you know, catching piranha and eating heart of palm and drinking out of water vines and so on. So I will be doing those things and we're going to be doing a bit of paddling as well. So paddling down the river uh, and exploring some waterfalls and some wildlife as well. So it's going to be an exciting trip, a really, really good trip. I've got a guide, so it's just me and my guide. Um, it's going to be good fun, guys. So enjoy today's video. If you like this kind of video, let me know. Uh, I can do more like this if you want me to. And uh, subscribe to my channel. Give me a like for the video as well. So without further ado, let's have a look at the things I'm going to be packing and how I'm going to be packing it and why I'm packing it the way I am. Okay, guys, enjoy today's video. So firstly, I'd like to show you what the pack looks like in complete. So it has the side pouches on. This is what I'll be looking like when I'm walking around the jungle. Um, the PLCE side pouches do come off, so as I'm showing you here, uh, it's just held on by some clips and some YKK zippers. So obviously you need to thread the uh, webbing through uh, the loops on the pouches itself, and then they just simply unzip, which takes the pouches off. So that's quite a handy feature because it makes it more versatile. Uh, as you'll see in a minute why I've chosen to take my PLCE pouches, although I could probably fit everything into the bag itself. So firstly, there's a pouch there, as you can see. So that's both of them off. And then I've got my bag and I've got a little yoke system that I'm going to be taking with me. OK, and the purpose for the yoke system is so I can combine my two side pouches together and make one small backpack, so to say. Uh, you can see here. Uh, I'm just putting the yoke together now quickly, so I'm just literally clipping on the clips where they need to be. Uh, it does require a little bit of practice, not too much, but once you get the hang of things, um, you know, it's pretty straightforward. Now, the reason why I'm doing this 
is because everything in my side pouches as it stands will be my carry-on so what i mean is is the stuff i'm going to be taking on the airplane itself so that means i don't have to take an additional backpack i'm also going to be covering it uh with a little rain cover as you can see here so it doesn't draw too much attention to itself um in the first pouch let's have a look at what i'll be taking with me so first you can see i've got this little uh, little dry bag that goes in the pouch they are the carry more sf uh, dry pouches that there's a little toilet kit that i've just pulled out i'm going to show you the content of that but firstly i've got my waterproof socks the reason why i bought, bought waterproof socks with me because i will be getting wet and wearing obviously my jungle boots there is a um a nice lightweight uh top uh and a nice lightweight lightweight trousers which are 100 percent cotton for both of those because they'll help wick away the sweat i've got two pairs of woolen socks as you can see here uh, there's another top it's exactly the same as the other one so it's a long sleeve very lightweight top and there's another pair of trousers exactly the same so one's going to be my dry kit and one will be my wet kit so dry uh, my wet kit will be what i wear during the day and the dry kit is what i'll be wearing in the evenings um in this little baggie here this is a little toilet kit i've made this accessible um so firstly i have um a little hand sanitizer bottle and i've got some toilet seat covers for you know dodgy airports in different countries i don't like to sit on their toilet seats and there's some tissue there a uh, little packs of tissue for you know what so that's going to be my little toilet kit in the second pouch as you can see here um I have another dry bag, so let's pull that out quickly. So I'm just going to unroll it quickly here and just pull that out. Um, this is going to be some more clothing. So firstly, I have my travel pillow. Uh, I have another little baggie there, uh, which I'll show you in a moment. I've got a pair of woolen socks. Um, wool is good because it stays warm even if it is wet. So there's some underpants spare underpants and there's a little vest top that i'll be wearing if it gets too hot it's very thin socks as well that i've got there uh this is a nice lightweight shirt so button-up shirt it has ventilated back system on it really ideal for a jungle and it's got mosquito repellent well it's mosquito proof shall i say uh got bandanas uh i've got a pair of shorts as i just put down there and this is another buff that i've got in my hand here so the little pair of shorts can double up as you know shorts to knock around a bit and as well as uh, swimming in and there's a little fleece jumper there just in case it does drop in temperature and i've got two cycling shorts to act as boxers because you know they're probably better for the jungle in my little green bag here um this is going to be my sort of battery set so if i can show you here i've got two battery power banks uh they're 20 milliamp or something 20 20 000 milliamp uh, and there's my gopro that i'll be taking as well uh and i've got some leads and some spare gopro batteries there and a little pack there so i will be charging devices as well and i'll show you later on how i'll do that um stuff i'll be wearing i have some socks on me that i'll be wearing some underpants uh, another 100 percent cotton shirt as you can see here so it's going to be ideal you notice the colors are always neutral they're very similar colors to what i'm wearing all all the time apparently mozzies don't actually like that color some lightweight trousers uh for travel okay so it's gonna be nice breathable nice and relaxed uh very lightweight to travel in uh so that's going to be the trousers i'll be wearing they're just normal walking trousers uh a nice good sturdy i've got a nylon type belt here like a military style belt it's got a good clip on it so i'd hold my my tools when i need to uh, a good pair of sunglasses uh, and a little paracord bracelet with a whistle so that's where it could be my whistle is i've got some jungle boots so you can see here some military jungle boots i've got good little holes there to you know let the water dispute out and they've got the good jungle tread on them uh bought these brand new um uh which are really really good i've been breaking them in recently and i'm also going to be taking my casio f91 w watch uh which is going to be an ideal watch for the scenario so now for the main pack uh, so the main pack obviously is a 6100 liter um in the top lid here 
uh, just to kind of show you guys what I'm going to keep on the top lid. So I'm going to have my little first aid kit. I uh, bought this little pouch on Timu, so which is quite cool. And it's got just your basics in there, guys. I've got some Savilon there, some antiseptic cream. Uh, but I've got plasters, gauze, bandages, um, after bite for mosquito bites if I do get bitten. Um, and I've also got some tape in there. Uh, and this little t container here, which contains... Um, Pseudocream, okay, because pseudocream is apparently meant to be very good for bites as well. So I'm going to take a little variety of bits and bobs there. So I'm not going to go into too much depth about the first aid kit. But as you can see, it's just your typical, you know, cuts uh, kit as well as bites. That's what I'm going to be covering for my first aid. And there'll be like rubber gloves and sanitizing wipes and stuff like that. Okay, so... Um, also, there's going to be my High Highlander Basher. It's a military basher. I've been using this for years and years and years. Absolutely love it. It's kept me dry and it's perfect for the hammock. Nothing too big, nothing too small. Uh, all the cordage is in the pouch of the basher as well, guys. So if you don't see cordage in this, it's because it's all within my shelter kit. Okay. So it's already set up, ready to go. I never spare cord there. I've not put anything in the inside of the top lid here. Okay. I've kept it. Uh, blank because obviously I'm going to be readjusting this pack uh, when they get to the hotel in when I've arrived there to suit the travel needs of the jungle. At the moment it's just suiting to get to the to Brazil by airplane. So in the main body of pack I haven't even utilized a third of its capacity if you ask me. Here's a big rain uh, cover for my pack itself to keep it protected so it just literally goes over the pack like so. Uh, also, I'll be taking, um, let me just get to it. <laughs> so it's obviously a little dry bag in, well, big dry bag in there, 90 litre dry bag that I've got in there. This little cheap, inexpensive knife, fork and spoon plastic set. Not bothered if I was to lose it. It's a real cheap, inexpensive one. So it saves me to use utilizing all the good quality. And it's very, very lightweight. You know, it's something I might actually give to the guide when I'm done. I might just donate some bits and bobs so I'm light to carry on the way back. Um, here I've got some very cheap, lightweight, inexpensive trainers. Cost me about 15 pounds, if anything. They're very lightweight. They're good for the evenings. Uh, I'm not going to be wearing them to the airport you know the boots are heavy so i'm going to wear them to the airport little ground sheet typical pound shop ground sheet nothing too expensive there that would be good just to stick on the ground uh a little bag of uh, tea bags not tea bags sorry coffee bags so they like tea bags but coffee real coffee so i've got quite a few of them my neighbor recommended them so that's going to be great i could have a morning coffee uh, i'll have my coffee black nowadays and uh, another thing we're going to take is my water canteen bottle with a plastic uh, cup. Okay, so this is your typical NATO version, British uh, water bottle, British Army water bottle. And I'm also going to take a U.S. canteen bottle. So I'm taking two bottles with me. Okay, but this one's going to have the U.S. canteen mug on the bottom. I do have a Crusader kit, but I don't want to take my Crusader mug because that's, you know, quite precious to me but the the u.s version i bought cheap at car boot so and i can that's going to be my main cook system that's it i'm not going to be taking pots and pans or anything with me um there's going to be a little baggie there which i'll talk through in a moment here's a little waterproof cover for my phone i'm not sure if i'll be using it but probably if i was paddling in a canoe i'll probably put my phone in there uh, another item, another little baggie there, bits and bobs bag. I'll talk about that in a moment. I'm going to talk about these two green bags I've just pulled out more into depth. Okay. Uh, some gardening gloves here. Um, more work gloves, if anything else. Cheap and expensive, you know, just to wear. They could even double up as normal, regular gloves if it does get cold. The good thing is about those gloves, apparently mozzies can't bite through them. <laughs> this here I just bought recently. It's a flex tail mini. It's like a little lamp. Uh, but this is ingenious. Uh, I didn't realize in the video there that I just zipped it back up. It clearly was open. Um, it's actually a mozzie repellent. So you put these little mozzie pads in there. And it's meant to be very effective. So I've got all the pads as well to go with it. And inside I've also put uh, one of those mozzie repellent wristbands along with the little pods that you put inside them as well so i'm really trying to think about not getting bitten while i'm there but apparently this product's been to be really good and it doubles up as my night lamp too and it's rechargeable this is um 
my Lifesaver um, Wayfarer. I've recently bought this. It's going to be a scavenger style um, water filter. So you've got a scavenger hose that you use, um, which is really good. And the good thing about this pouch here, you can put the one that you put in the water into the pouch and you've got another small pouch where you can put the other one that goes into your bottle into the small pouch so you don't contaminate them. It's meant to be very, very good. It's meant to, you know, filter out everything. Can't get into the bag here. Um, the reason why I went for this one rather than taking my Soya Mini is because I don't want to really put my hands in the water, okay, so I get bitten by crocodiles or piranhas or what have not. Maybe I've seen too many horror films, but... Better be safe than sorry. So I'm going to chuck the scavenger holes in and pump my water out that way. So therefore, I'm not putting my, myself at danger. So it's, I'd rather the piranhas or the crocodiles or anything like that, the caimans, eat the holes in my hand. <laughs> so that's what's going to happen there. A little bag of this sun cream, uh, mozzie repellent. It's got 50% D in there. Uh, a little lip balm in there as well for UV protection. So try and protect myself from the sunshine so a lot of it's about protecting myself on that this is my little i've had this for years and i think i need to replace it it's the wire around the end of it's getting a bit battered but still functional it's a basin basically uh for washing up washing my face brushing my teeth having a little sponge bath so to say so i could do that and probably do it in the river as well but just in case i can uh, use that as well for washing items and stuff doing my laundry in things like that so that just goes there um other items i'll be taking let me get to it here we go so there's my sleeping bag it's a jungle sleeping bag so military jungle sleeping bag uh the stuff sack i don't think is the jungle version for it but i bought that separately uh this is my dd hammock my frontline hammock um what i've done is i've set it up to use the whoopee slings okay so i really like the whoopee slings very lightweight so it cuts down the weight uh there's the straps and i've got some um soft shackles there and the whoopee slings i've got a video on how to make them so have a look through my video playlist and you'll see how to make them and there's a bishop's bag so you can then keep either end uh you know whoopee slings hanging out the either end so it makes it easy to set up so that's what we've got there uh this is a towel so for obviously obvious purpose we're drying myself off little uh sleeping mat so i can put that into the you know between my my hammock so if it does get cold at night i can insulate the bottom uh this is a just a little rain pack little pack um sort of little rain jacket okay it's not brilliant but it'll do the job in the picture i'll probably get wet anyway from sweat small plastic plate just eat my, my fish off and things like that. And also, I've got this. I'm going to talk about this in a little moment. It's um, a way of carrying my rucksack. I'm going to talk about that in a moment. Little sit mat. So if we do create a little bench or something like that, I've got something comfortable for my backside. So that's what that is. And then uh, nearly there, guys. We've got a solar panel here. So this is the big blue solar panel. Tried it out. I'm going to be using this to charge up my battery banks. And then my battery banks to charge up my devices. Now, the reason why I'm doing that is because I'll probably be using my devices to do the filming during the day. So it's really to focus on vlogging everything. Hence is why I'm taking this to charge up the battery banks so I can still use the other devices while i'm filming as well so might be overkill but hey better be safe and sorry and i want to capture everything you know i want to capture the the moments upon youtube this is my parang and it's the company name is called my parang uh it's a 10 inch um duku chandong i believe it's pronounced uh and that's going to be my parang there i've sharpened it it's prepared ready to go i've been using it practicing with it really like my parang um it's probably my luxury item not a massive one but it's going to be ideal for what i want it for for the crafts that i'm going to be doing it's going to be probably the main use tool so i'm not taking a saw with me or anything like that this is going to be my main chopping and cutting tool um looking to practice some crafts as well while i'm out there um so that's going to be an awesome thing to have on my belt uh to accompany that let me just go get that for you 
is going to be my Mora Companion HD. Now I'm using a leather sheath that I made myself. Um, I'm not really a fan of the Mora sheaths, but I do love the knives. And I've prepared the spine already to accommodate with a ferro rod. Okay, so you can see that there. It's a great knife. It saves my really expensive knives getting lost in travel. If I also lose this, pfft, I'm not not the end of the world. I'll buy another one. They're about 15 quid. Really good knives, though. You know, you can you could rely on this. You know, you stick your life on it. So hence is why I'll take that one because I've used them for years. Absolutely love them. Okay. Now, the little pouches, um, I was going to show you more in depth what's going on with them. Um... So firstly, let's just open this little dry bag. These are uh, Cedar Summit um, dry pouch bags. They're really good. This is my wash kit. It's a little microfiber towel there. Uh, that's going to help me dry my face and stuff. Little Some tape for my feet. So this is like oxide tape. I was using that in the space side way. Um, a comb. Um, not sure if I'm going to go for a, a crew cut before I go. A little razor to neaten up my beard. I might have a shave at the hotel and stuff You know, before I fly back. Um, two small tubes of toothpaste. So I've got those there. Um, so just your typical toiletry, guys. There's my toothbrush. Okay, so this is going to be its last journey for this one, and I'm going to be replacing it after this uh, particular excursion. So there we go. And we have here some shampoo and conditioner in one they'll probably have that at the hotel for flying back this is mainly also to fly back with there's some deodorant there uh to put on so just a little roll on rather than spray on nice and light small packs away packs away small a, a small little sponge this is for cleaning in the jungle you know so i want to make sure i clean my feet and everything else some soap that's for my body as well as a double up as shaving soap um there's some small pads for just quickly washing your hands with. So yeah, you just literally run it under water and you can wash your hands quickly. A small little mirror. That would be good for signaling as well as looking for things and looking at my face. And this is a little pepper pot that you get. And what I do is I fill it up with talcum powder. So it becomes a little talcum powder shaker. I've put it in a little bag now. It has got a little seal on it, but it does leak a little bit. So I've put it in a little bag there. Great for drying your feet and you know putting on areas that can get a bit of friction nivea shave balm small travel one and what else we got here um some hair wax for on the way back and a little bit of aftershave no one that wants to sit next to a smelly on a plane so when i'm traveling back i'm gonna clean myself up so looks like i've been been to the jungle and a small set of nail clippers just in case I need to cut my nails or something like that in this pouch here um this is my bits and bobs bag so this is just an old cheap old pouch here and i've had these for years these pouches there's some flex tail pads for the mozzie repellent so it's meant to be really good i'm really excited about trying that out hopefully keep the mozzies away it'd be good around here as well where i live in scotland with all the midges a little leather bag there. that's for my microphone but i'm using it at the moment um a little flannel so that's there a little pink flower flannel you've got to carry a little bit of pink so you know it's what it was outdoors men do we show our feminine sides and our little towels here so a bit of pink uh tea towel there <laughs> okay uh and this is just a little right in the rain paper just took in a couple of pieces out of my right in the rain notebook don't want to carry the whole notebook with me but it's just to make a few notes and stuff uh mozzie head net that's going to really be it's worth its weight in gold it's especially for the evenings so to keep the mozzies away from my face especially when it gets out of control if, especially if i'm paddling in the amazon river so that's going to be there um I've also got some Tinder card. I've got quite a bit of that there. Okay, that's going to be a good source of Tinder if I can't find any. I really like that stuff. Good for farewell rods as well. There's my head torch. It's really good head torch, that, guys. Um, yeah, it's rechargeable as well, so I don't have to carry batteries for it. Uh, it's meant to be water resistant. A uh, little sharpening stone to maintain my tools. So I've got that there. Okay. So that's that. um my ferro rod attached to a lanyard that goes onto my belt which is really good this is a new one i've put on there so i've gone through 
hundreds of these if anything <laughs> okay you just go through loads of them and it clips off and clips on so i can take it off make life easier for myself i tend to use this when i'm canoeing anyway so this is a new one that's on there um that's what i've done there um and this little container here will have uh just wrapped around here with some tire in the tube um to some old bits it's good for lighting fires in the rain and these are stormproof matches just in case so i've got that there for as a you know pretty much guaranteed fire there okay stormproof matches and a little bit of tire in the tube wrapped around that so that's another bit of tinder there so i don't need to carry too much okay I, i'm tr i trust my experience and my knowledge because i've been doing it a long time now some trouser ties for when i put my boots on and you know keep all the creepy crawlies away from my legs um pencil for my paper a little bit lighter very small one i don't need anything more than that i'm sure my guide will be carrying some stuff as well so um so there's three means of fire there guys so i've got a lighter i've got matches and i've got my ferro rod and my little swiss army knife uh this is um a small one i think it's the camper i believe it's got a small knife uh got the main knife there and you can see it's got a pair of scissors i could use that with my first aid kit and things like that okay oh just pulled the knife out again let me find it again there we are it's a little tin opener not sure if i'm gonna need that bottle opener who knows might have a few beers take with me uh wine bottle opener um comes in handy for other things a little uh all there and then we've got the hook toothpick and tweezers something i might add to my wash kit as well some little dental floss as well i might need to take that with me just made me think there um and the compass that will be going in there as well so obviously for navigating there's that mirror on there as well so secondary mirror there good for using signal and all sorts okay and so okay you've seen me mention this and pull this out of my uh large pack there uh what this is is a holdall um bag okay and then the whole point of this is to prevent my rucksack from getting lost uh, if anyone knows anything about traveling on the airplane with a rucksack especially a large one if anyone's been backpacking before there's a big chance that you could lose your backpack because unlike other bags it's got all these straps and dangly bits a um, couple of ways to prevent that you could cling film it all up but then that becomes very messy and you've got to do that on the way back as well um, some people try to you know tape the straps down and all sorts but there's an easier solution okay um and also with it being you know a carry more saber which is kind of a military pack there um we don't want it to draw any attention either okay especially when it's going through the conveyors you know when it's going through uh all the machineries and that's the place where it can get lost because it can easily get caught up in something and fall onto another bell or something like that i'm not sure exactly how it works but i know people have lost their packs because of that and they're getting stuck um packing it into another bag is is going to be key so you can get rucksack packs okay uh i bought this um from sports direct it's a also a carry more product okay and it's a large holdall and it just allows me to put my pack into this pack okay also allows me to lock it okay and also put my tags and everything i need to put on there and it just looks like regular luggage when it goes through um you know to the the process of being in the the hold luggage then it can do safely without my pack getting damaged i'd rather this get damaged because this is an expensive it cost me about 15 pounds um i'd rather this get damaged and thrown about and beaten and the straps grabbed onto it and all sorts than my actual rucksack so let me show you what i'll do here okay, i'm going to just reposition the camera and show you how this works it's very simple guys it's definitely something to consider if you are going to travel abroad with your outdoor items the outdoor equipment now i haven't got my deluxe stuff by all means because i don't want, if i do lose it i'm not going to be crying about it hence is why i'm not taking my good quality knives uh, except for that prang there um and you know my crusader kit and things like that. i'm buy, i'm taking the things i've bought cheaply 
and they're going to be the stuff I'm going to be using. I have used those items, so I know exactly how they function and, and you know, they're tried and tested. So let me show you how to use this quickly. Okay, guys, I'm going to reposition the camera. So let's have a look at um, this duffel bag. So basically, it folds into itself, which is quite good, so that you don't lose the pouch. And then all you need to do is just turn it inside out like this, or right side out. And it becomes a very large, lightweight duffel bag. Okay, so there's nothing really to it. Um, made by X Light, which is Carry More. So it's like another Carry More product. I think the the brand is well, not brand. The brand is uh, Carry More, and X Light is its model, whatever it is. Um, you can see here my pack fits in there. Bit of a squeeze at first, but there's still plenty of room. I could probably fit other things in there once it's in. So you just literally chuck your bag in, just like so. Fold over the straps. Okay, the bottom is wider than the top, so I'll start with the bottom here. Going to really compress it in together. Zip it up. Just get this little squeeze there, and there's two zips on this, and uh, get all the straps in. There you go. So there's two zips on this, and the good thing is, okay, about these zippers, you can push them together and a little padlock can go on there now obviously you're probably thinking well you can cut, cut it with a knife if you want to get into it yeah that is true <laughs> but any safety is better than nothing isn't it so I could put a little padlock on there um it's got these compression straps as well so you clip them on and compress them down okay and I can tuck those straps away as well once I'm done so I'll probably end up uh you know putting like a little loop on there to really tuck them down so they don't get caught and then the carry handles you got these carry handles here it takes the weight really well so you can see there and it's got a large strap there so i can pull it over my shoulder as well um yeah really good could throw that about now just looks like a normal you know baggage what have not it's got a little window here to put my dressing things there as well so if i do lose it they can return it Really strong bag this actually, believe it or not, I was quite surprised. And there's a lot of weight in there. And it's got a little pad there, so I'll carry it on my shoulders. And then when I go to check it in, I can put the strap in the bag. So guys, that is what I'll be packing. Um, it's one of those things that, you know, you, I keep listing things in my head and thinking, have I got this, have I got that? But I've got to be careful that I don't pack too much. And if I do forget anything, then so be it. You know, I, I'm going to have to make do and, and you know, improvise while i'm out there if i have to on the other hand i was contemplating packing more cooking equipment but for the type of cooking that we're planning to do uh, I, I feel like it's no need and if the worst comes to it and i need more pots and what have not then i'm going to do a bit of bamboo cooking as well then and i might make a ground oven it'd be a good opportunity for that there's a way of cooking without the cooking equipment so the little metal container that i've got with me that'll be plenty enough for boiling some water making my coffee my you know porridge in the morning some rice if i need it or something like that um the mentality, as you can see, is going to get me there. So when I get to the jungle, um, well, when I get to Brazil, I'm going to stay at a hotel. I'm going to rearrange things. And then on my way back, I'll pack it exactly the same way I've just done there, just so I can fly back home with it. Um, so, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, next time you see me, I'll be making videos in the jungle. And uh, I'll be taking you along on my journeys. Hopefully, it's inspired some of you guys to do a big adventure like this. Okay, we only live once, so it's all well and good being outdoorsy. But we've got to try these things and have these adventures. There's a new environment for me, so it's going to be awesome. Um, I've got a feeling that I'm going to fall in love with it. And I've got a feeling that I'm going to be wanting to go back more than once. Um, but guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think. If you want to see more content like this, um, I'll be more than happy to do some content like this for you guys. Okay, enjoy. Take care, guys. All the best. Mm -hmm.